Oh, diggy do, here we are. Excellent stuff, Scotty McClure, just for you, with the late night pop up. Now, it's Wednesday, and we had a pop up earlier tonight, but tonight I want to see if we can do some calls. So there you are. Now, we're looking at Skype at the moment. I didn't want to go on with Messenger or FaceTime or anything like that, just in case it interrupts the broadcast. So what we're doing tonight, this is work in progress as always, guys. And uh, I'm expecting some serious assistance from your good selves. And I will certainly be getting it. So there you are. Now, I've got Skype up on another device. Can you give a shout out to Sean Doyle, who needs to go to Anan? says Harry Nollis. Annan, yes, absolutely. Is that not about 15, 20 miles from you? That's quite a distance. Gary Frank Cross is watching. Joseph Clenaghan. Dinky do, Joseph Clenaghan. Excellent stuff. James Fitton. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I say you're watching Scotty McClure with the Wednesday evening late night pop-up. Now, we have a lot to get through tonight, but I want to try some calls. So if you'd like to be a little bit of a guinea pig, I don't like like to use that term, but a little bit of a guinea pig and call Scotty McClue, then it's on Skype and it's Scotty.McClue and we'll see if we can hear you on here, all right? Scotty, can I Skype you? Yes, you can, Harry. Uh, Scotty.McClue. So there you are. Evening, Scotty, says Alistair King. Good evening, Lee Fern, Dinky Doo. Scotty, the greatest silver-tongued host in the world, says Sean Anderson. Sean, you say such lovely things, my dear fellow. Excellent idea. Yes, I think it'd be better if we took a few calls and got that on the road, got that moving forward. And then we can decide which direction we want to take the show in. Because remember, you are, if not a lot more important than me, certainly as important as me. All right. Evening, Scotty. Say hello to Cora, says Jim Clark. Dinky do, Jim. Lovely to have you with us. And hello, Cora. I'm glad to know you're there. Laura Fletcher, dinky do. Hello, says Ian Hills. Hello, Ian. Good evening, sir, says Joseph Gibbons. Good evening. Back to the old days. We want that. Yes, we've wanted it for a long time, but I couldn't quite see how to do it, because I thought Messenger interrupts the broadcast. So there you are. Um, I've only got a video call. Doesn't matter. <coughs> controversial phone calls to Sean Anderson. Well, maybe not too controversial tonight, Sean. Let's get started and see what's what. And then, as I say, you and I and the rest of the globe can decide which way we want to take the Facebook Live phone in on. All right. Hello again, my laird, says Robbie. Hello, Robbie. Dink you do, and thank you very much for your generosity and your vision. Fantastic. There you are. I have put a message out there. Scotty, I see more of you than my maw. And John, you don't need to blaspheme at the start. You can take that off there. So there you are. Nice to see you again, Scotty. Evening from Barnsley. I hope you're well. Yes, dinky do to everybody in Barnsley. Barnsley in South Yorkshire there. Dinky do loves. Uh, I'll be calling you shortly, Scotty. This is Harry Norris. Scotty Dot McClue. I may need to accept you, Harry, if you're not on my Skype list. But I shall check. I've got a good old Skype list here. And I've no doubt that uh, people will be coming up if they're wanting accepted. Excellent stuff. So there we are. Profile invisible. I'll put it active. There you are. My profile is active on Skype, Scotty dot McClue. So perhaps you can Skype me and we can see if we can rig something up. I feel like Marconi sitting here or Macaroni sitting here. Macaroni and cheese. Is that a duo? Ernie Ross is watching Dinky Doo. Lovely to have you with us. If you've just joined us, folks, you're watching Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet, the world's top broadcaster. And tonight we're moving the show forward. We're going to um, have some calls. So there you are. Tracy Shaw, lovely to have you with us, Dinky Doo. That went past so quick, I actually missed it. Oi, oi, Dinky Doo, this is Scott Beattie. Dinky Doo, Scott, excellent. And a very, very warm welcome to the program. We had an hilarious program earlier. I mean, absolutely, phenomenally fantastic program. And you'll see that. I have to put my false teeth in if you call us as Derek. Don't worry. 
I'll put mine in as well, Derek. So there you are. Glad and Elric's watching. Dink you do. Lovely to have you with us on the Scotty McClue Wednesday night late night pop-up. Uh, we're going to try and take some calls tonight, guys. See if we can get things moving forward a little bit. I was talking to a very, very senior person in broadcasting today who said, your show is absolutely fantastic, Scotty, but feel free, get some calls on. So there you are. Now, here's somebody calling, right? It's Harry. So I answer. Hello, Harry, can you hear me? Hello, Scotty, are we live? Uh, we're live, Harry, dinky-doo. Now, let me see if I can get people to hear you. Can you hear Harry here? It says it's not a great connection, Harry. Can we hear you? Can you hear me, Scott? I think you need to turn up your sound. Can you hear me okay, Scott? Yes, but you need to turn your microphone up. The nation can't hear you. So How's that now, Scott? Even a bit more, Harry. I'm not exactly the technological whiz, but I will certainly try, Scotty. Don't you worry. You don't need to be a technological whiz on here. You're talking to Scotty McClue. He's hardly a technological whiz. So we need you coming in. We need you coming in louder, Harry. Yes? I said we need to get you back. We must get you back on the BBC, Scotty. Back on the BBC. Excellent stuff, and then we wouldn't worry about all this because their wonderful audio staff would be taking care of it. Indeed, Scotty, it'd be great to have you back on the BBC. Now, can we hear Harry, guys? Can we actually hear Harry? Scotty. Yes, uh, can you give a shout out to Harry, Angela, Leanne, Harry, Jean, Leanne, Renel, who is watching? Harry, also, Harry, Harry, Angela, Leanne. Yes, Hallie, Jean, no, Hallie, Angela, Jean Riddle, who is watching, Scotty. Excellent stuff. Okay, my dear man. You take care of yourself. Lovely to hear you. Yeah, lovely to be in your wee show, Scotty. Yes, you Before you go, can you, can you give a shout out to Sean Doyle? Sean Doyle. A big shout out to Sean Doyle from Hallie Norris down in Annan there. Scotty, I look forward to getting you back onto the BBC. We need to continue these talks. We need to get you back on primetime BBC television. Primetime BBC television. You take great care of yourself and dinky do. Excellent stuff. Dinky do, Scotty. Dinky do, Harry. There you are. That's Harry. Oh, excellent stuff. What a top man. Very, very good. Well done, Harry. That was excellent. Now, you might have had a job hearing that, guys. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do some more things now because I am such a talented individual. So what I'm going to do, they've not got the internet in Bear's Den. Harry is in the box, is he in the hills? Trisha McLean is watching. Dink you do. You're watching Scotty McClure, the first lord of the internet and the world's top broadcaster. We're trying to take calls tonight, guys. I'm just going to share that so that everybody has got it. Excellent stuff. Right, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and see if we can um, get another version of Skype. But feel free to Skype me. There is not a problem. So feel free to Skype in here and uh, we will do what we can. Excellent stuff. Right, I'm also going to see if I can... Uh, Get myself a little bit of Skype here. Uh, brilliant speaking to you, Scotty. Please can we have one more shout out to Hallie, Angela, and Jen and Riddell. There you are. Who's your news, chickens and coos? You find the night, Scotty? I find just fine. Just grand, Abby Duncan. Just chaffing a war. Chaffing a war. That's fit for Dean. So there you are. Have you tried FaceTime, Scotty? Yeah, but I don't know that FaceTime would blend in with Facebook Live. Can you see where I'm coming from? Uh, Messenger, that would be one. But the whole thing with Messenger is it interrupts the call, if you see what I mean. It interrupts the program as far as I can see. So there we are. Hello from Lopard in Croatia. <laughs> says uh, Lopud or Lopud <coughs> have I said that right Gillian McKenzie Lopud in Croatia Gillian's watching in Croatia dinky do socks off at 9.20 shout stuff shout out for Aaron Foy 
Wonderful, wonderful. Not a problem. Let's see if we can get a bit of Skype going here, guys. Okay, and uh, get that sorted out. So there we are. That would be an absolute belter, wouldn't it? So there we go. And I'll try this and see if we can move that as the program goes on. But there must be a way to do this. So all you technical people, think what's what. Andrew McDonald, Dinky Doo, Mark Gippert's watching. If you've just joined us, welcome, welcome, welcome. The Scotty McClue Wednesday evening late night pop-up. And tonight we are taking calls on Skype. If you've got a Skype, come and call me Scotty dot McClue. Okay, Scotty dot McClue. Don't forget the dot and we'll see if we can get you on. Did anybody hear Harry there? Could you hear what you're saying? George Gibson and Paul Wilkinson. Hello. Dinky do. You're watching Scotty McClue. Come and join us. I say this promises to be an excellent program if we can get the calls moving. So there we go. Excellent stuff. Right. There we go. And I'll just see if I can get this sorted, folks. And if I can do, then that's us. We're on the move. Excellent stuff. So there we are. That seems to be sorting itself out. And we can just let that diddle. There we go. Save. Marvellous stuff. Right, what's happening here? Yes, here it comes. That's good stuff. Uh, you can see me in Mrs. Walker's skirt, says Derek Jimmy Walker. No, Derek Jimmy Walker, you keep that. Your, your, your personal life's your own. So there we are. Can you possibly read out my last post, please, Scotty? Dinky do. I think Harry was foo, says uh, Jerry McGurk. No, no, I don't. I think he was. I think he was. Your last post gone. It's miles back. Look at the speed this goes at. Just heard in the 10 o'clock news that a no deal on Brexit is looking less likely now. Apparently the negotiations are going very well. Oh, well, Lee Fern, there's a wee turn up for the books, isn't it? So excellent stuff. So Brexit negotiations are going very well. Well, that's good because we've had uh, a couple of years since the uh, the vote and, um, you know, since the referendum, and there's not a dish washed so far. So it'll be very interesting to see how all that goes. I think they've done a marvellous job of obfuscation. Dee Gooley is watching Dinky Doo. Lovely to have you with us. You're watching Scotty McClue. Well, of course, live on the late night pop-up. Sharice, spelling unsure, needs to phone in your number one Facebook talker, says Scott C. Fru. Lovely Scott C. Fru. Aye, they're claiming the whiskey is theirs, says Robbie. Well, I think they'll have a bit of claiming to do there, Robbie. Don't you think so? There we are. I've got a few seconds left, guys, and I'm going to see if I can get the Skype up here. Uh, Carnot McCusker's watching Dinky Doo, D. Gourley. Lovely to have you. 19 posts back, Scotty. Not far. For goodness sake, how could I ever get 19 posts back Alistair King and then I'd have to come all the way forward again so there you are do you want me to try it so there we go we'll see if we can get Alistair's post no fat chance fat chance uh, Bears Den with a G15 postcode is fake wannabes so there we are Paul Wilkinson dinky do do you think Big Teresa is a good PM well she's certainly doing the job and there's nothing happened with Brexit so far uh, so to speak so there you are, apart from a bit of George Orr, oh, George Orr. Oh. So there you are. So in my view, she's done a very good job there. Uh, where is she? Shh. She's in her bed having a wee kip. Kyle Rent is watching Dinky Doo. I'm on the Skype. Yes, the Skype's coming. Don't worry. Do not panic, I say. I'm just going to open it up here and see what we've got. There we go. And we'll sort that. Uh, and we'll see what's happening here, guys. So just stick with me. I'm on the Skype. That's what we all say. If you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue, the late night pop-up. And what we're hoping to do is take some calls and build the show up nationally and internationally. So there you are. Robbie Crossan, what are you on about? Can't type it again. It took too long. Thanks anyway. Well, wait till we see. Let's, let's run away back, Alistair. Don't say you don't get good service on here. Run away back and see what Alistair's saying. Right? 
Alistair's on there, guys, and he wants me to run back and see what is what. I don't know if we'll find it, Alistair, and I hope it doesn't cut off the broadcast. That's the problem. There we go. Ah, yes. A wee shout out for the Hyper Club, please, Scotty. We're having a charity. It's a knockout event this Saturday at uh, <coughs> Ballast Bank Community Centre in Inverkeething. Preston Crescent for Disabled Kids. And all are welcome. There we are. And it says see more, but that does cut the broadcast off quite often. So there you are, Alistair. I like to look after my people, you see. Not a problem. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate you trying. There we are. Well, I've just done it. We've done it. Excellent stuff. Right. What have we got here? Um, what have we got here? Marvellous. Right. That's that. So there we are, and uh, ready to install, good. So that's all going on. Uh, we're getting the latest for you here, guys. Texas stuff, Kevin McKenzie's watching. I'm on your system and can see the Big Dipper from my bedroom window. Totally beautiful outside. Excellent stuff, you can't beat the Big Dipper. So there you go. I thought that was uh, perhaps something of a, a pet name. Something of a pet name. If you just joined us, folks, you're watching Scotty McClue. Uh, tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Start sharing if you can. Um, I can do some sharing this end, but let me see if we can get this sorted first. Very, very important. Uh, and we'll see what's what. Right, so I've got something good on here. Good stuff. And uh, that should now be sorted. So there we are. And, um, yeah, good. Right, we seem to be all right. I just need to do a little bit of, um, a little bit of larking about here. Mahir Peverell has joined us. About time two. Where have you been, I say? Uh, Daniel Foster, Dinky Duth, shared, says Lee Fan. Good man, Lee. If everybody else can do the same, that would be fantastic. So there we go. Good, and that's us got that. Good. And we'll see if this does its stuff. Excellent. Ah, good. Right. There you go. Now, this should be quite good. We should be able to take calls. Remember, it's scotty.mcclue if you need me to accept you. And give the system time, so don't give up. Hello, Scotty. I'm watching from a bed. You should be sleeping for a 5 a.m. start in the morning. Ah, you don't need to be sleeping just now. There's plenty of time to sleep. You can be watching Scotty McClue. Shared as always, Scotty. Malcolm McNeil, Tom Hutchison, Sean Anderson, Shared. Let's get this kicking off. I know we're just about to, but we need uh, some people. We need some candidates. So there we are. We don't want that. Uh, so there we go. And uh, what have we got here? Right. We don't want that. And we don't want that. So we'll see what's going on here. Um, yay. That's that. Right. Now... So many interesting things on here, I have to say. Uh, let's get this going, folks, and get the calls coming in. If you want to Skype me, you can do. So there you are. So don't be um, don't be going on. Wait till we see. What have we got here? This seems to be wanting money or something like that. So I don't know what we do here. Excellent. We'll see what's what. Right. Right, that seems to be all right. And... Um, and we'll do that. There we go. I think we're in. I actually think we're in. Excellent stuff. Uh, don't bring down the internet like you did with the phone lines in Central Scotland that time. I know. We brought down the whole of Central Scotland and the telephones. They were shorting out. Come on, Scotty. Stop dithering. I'm not dithering. You can Skype me. I'm just trying something else. My kid told me I have a face for radio and a voice for silent movies. Ah, oh, harsh. The kid is being harsh. <laughs> Absolutely. A little bit savage there for you, Robbie. Not at all. Mark Gippert, Dinky Doo, you're watching Scotty McClue. Let's get some calls going. Uh, and uh, if you want to Skype me, then do so. Excellent stuff. We'll see what we've got. Yes, yes. Excellent. Right. That's that. That's that. Okay. 
Right, so you can Skype me anytime, there's no problem, uh, but we just have to get you talking up. Egypt, right, says Mark Kippert talking to Callum. There we are. Mark, that's harsh on Callum. So there we are. Hi, Scotty. I was in a well-known coffee shop and asked for a coffee to go, and she asked me if I'd like it in a cup. I said, no, put it in my cupped hands, because they charge 5p for a cup. I once, uh, you know, somebody came up to me in the street and said, have you got uh, a pound for a coffee? And I said, well, is it hot? Is it in a clean cup? Uh, if I'd Skype, it'd be in the Stone Age. I'd send a pigeon instead. Paul Sefton, dinky-doo, Paul Sefton, right? Now, we know you're not from Liverpool, Paul, so we're not going to start all that again. You know what I'm saying, Paul? Okay, love the bones of you, but I'm not going to start all that again, Paul. Scott in the old China, how's it going? There we are, and uh, we can't talk about that, Scott. So there we are. Sorry, I have to take that comment down. But I understand where you're coming from. All right, la, says Paul. Paul Seth, no right la, lovely to have you with us, I say, and de he do. Right, anybody want to Skype in, it's Scotty Dot McClue. If you want to Skype in, and uh, we can get you on here and see what is what. Excellent stuff. All right, my Skype is open and ready. So not a problem. Excellent stuff. Now, there was a guy there asking me a question. It's something we can't talk about. Big news story, but we can't discuss it on here live right now. All right, there you go, dinky-doo. If you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClure, the first lord of the internet, the world's top broadcaster, with the Wednesday evening late-night pop-up just for you, saying dinky-doo. Now, tonight, we're going to be taking calls. So if you'd like to Skype me, like Harry's just done, then feel free to do that, and we will chit-chat big style. All right, very, very important. What else have I got here? I'm just having a good look to see what's what. Uh, so there we are. Sign in. Yes, talking in Skype, right? So we've got that there. We've signed in. So we seem to be live. And uh, I'm just checking. Yes, get all that sorted out. Uh, excellent stuff. There you are. Uh, now, who would like to come on and be the first one? Excellent. Yes, I don't want that. And uh, we'll just check this here. Right, so Scotty.McClue is my Skype address. If you want to come on and we can chit-chat big style. Welcome, 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 I say. Do let me know where you're watching from. I think that's very important. The viewers are up. Yes, well, of course they are, excellent. The word will eventually get round. Today's phone topic, single mothers or car drivers. So there you are. No, I was thinking, right, how many children would you say people should have? So there we are. Scotty Dot McClue. All right, on the Skype. Pauline McClement. Hi, Scotty from Mary Hill. Dinky doo, Pauline. Lovely to have you with us. What a jolly old fellow, says Nathan Bigley. You are indeed, sir. Scotty, what about a quiz with prizes, random selected posters? Killy here, uh, because we're all sharing. Yes, if everybody that's watching can share, 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 share. Excellent stuff. Um, me says Pauline McClimmett. Excellent. Not long till Santa, says Mark Gippert. Or oh, a wee while, a few sleeps, Mark, unless you're an insomniac, in which case it's six sleeps. Um, Michael Scott Ray, uh, Shepherd, dinky do. he says two. Maybe he's saying two. Echt, says uh, he's from Echt. So there you are. I know Echt. Very nice. What a lovely part of the world. Does anybody know Clat? Does anybody know Ochnagat? About 20 years ago, I shouted armadillo on your show, right? I became famous overnight. Scotty, when are you going to be in the wireless again? I'm from Glasgow, but just moved to the Murray Coast. I know the Murray Coast very, very well. What a fine part of the world, I say. Can everybody share again, guys? Share, 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 share. So there you are. I think I'll, uh, I'll put this off 
just now. So there we go. But uh, you can Skype me. There's no problem about that. And we'll get you on the Skype. And we can also do a bit of sharing as well. Five kids now got a Facebook, so that's it. Scotty, you're a legend, says Pauline McClement. So are you, Pauline McClement. Lovely to have you with us. Hello, pal, says Thomas Hamilton. Do you want to do a bit of quiz work tonight, guys? We had the quiz earlier. Highly, highly, highly successful. Craig Purdy is watching. Hello, Craig Purdy. Dinky do. Excellent. Welcome to the Scotty McClure late night Wednesday pop up just for you, Dinky do. Uh, we're hopefully going to get some Skype calls tonight if somebody wants to be the first one. Hi, Scotty. I'm in Lockerbie and I'm off to Florida in 25 days of a lovely holiday. Bo Heats is rolling Jimison to the nation. There we are. Um, that's a bit harsh on yourself, Roland, but we'll call you Bohid if you prefer. Hi, Fred Girvin, says Charlene McCusker. Charlene McCusker, dinky do down in Girvin there. What a lovely part of the world. Scotty, Hamden or Murrayfield, right? The SFA have to decide. Well, why don't we start to decide on here and then we can give them a good steer. So there you are. Would you like to see Ali Yogi? Hi, Fitter Bolton in Ayrshire. I have autism. Ali Yogi, not a problem at all. Lovely to have you with us. As uh, Scotty told my dad, you're back in Facebook. His name is Derek. He was your biggest fan years ago. He's in Wales now. Can you say hi to him? I say hi to Derek McClement down in Wales there. I say to you, uh, Nosda and Yak. Kida. Excellent. Right up your goodie, Sir David Clark. And you, sir. So there we go. Now, Carol McNamara is watching. Thank you, do, Carol. Lovely to have you with us. Very bright lady. Very sharp. Excellent stuff. James Bauer. Very bright gentleman. Very sharp. Excellent. Welcome, James Bauer, I say, to the Scotty McClure late night pop up. Hi, Scotty. This is Carol McNamara. What's happening, Scotty? You mad bunnet. Say hi to Lindsay Vale from Christopher Vale. Of course I will. Smart Arnett Stephen from Irvine. Can we all have a share, please? If you're watching right now, share it. Tell people, tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Scotty McClure is live. Did you hear about the Italian chef? Passed away. So there we are. Hi, Scotty from Hull. Not heard to news, this Kelly Richardson. Hello, sir. I've sent you a wee message. As long as you didn't send it on Messenger. Because I don't have Messenger. Mrs. McClure, how's she doing? Nice to see you back, Scotty, says Jim Birmingham. Scott Simpson. Hi, Scotty. Could you put a big shout out for everyone to like the Langlands Golf Club Facebook page? Cheers, big man, says Scott Simpson. So there we are. Ali Yogi, we can't talk about that. Sorry, but there you are. I'll have to take that comment down because that can't be talked about at the moment. Has to mean Murrayfield. Hamden's a dump, says Ronnie Mulligan. Ronnie Mulligan, you'd better tell me where you're from because if you're an Edinburgh spy trying to get Hamden off the Ouija's, there will be a problem. So there you are. Has to be Murrayfield. Excellent stuff. Hi from Grangemouth. Thank you so much. Love you, says Polly McClement. Love you too, Angel. Hi, Scotty. Give me a shout out. Cheers. Hello, Scotty. Paisley originally now. Uh, Ripping Gale. Haven't heard you in years. Where's Ripping Gale? So there you are. Ribblesdale, no? Stevie McLeod. Uh, haven't heard you in years. Brilliant. It took me a good minute and a half to get the joke about the Italian chef passed away. Yes. Uh, the capital city of every country. Hello, Scotty. To the person who stole my antidepressants. I hope you're happy now. It's a small arm, it. <laughs> I'm from Lanark, Scotty, says Ronnie Mulligan. That's okay. So you're kind of in the middle there. So we don't really mind. Not a problem. Excellent stuff. Right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just close off that and uh, see what's what. 
Let's go. So there we go. Says Skype. Excellent. Now, uh, what I'm going to do, guys, we'll do a bit of sharing, if that's all right with you. If you want to Skype me, you can. Uh, looking for a favour, all who play football, send videos to Seth Sports on here and at Twitter for a chance to get the new website. Hello from Aberdeen. Aberdeen. I uh, have a wee article on the ticket line page in Miss That. Hello from Canada, says Logan E. Summers. Hello, Canada, from Scotty McClure. Dinky-doo. What time is it in your part of Canada, Logan E. Summers? Do tell. Spill. Have you heard what's going on at Air Station? Yes. They've had to stop it, and the air show's come out. Margaret MacDonald, hello, Scotty, I listened to you years ago. I remember the mumbling pants. I've done it, pal. Scotty, you should be in still game, says Pauline McClement. I know, I think it was a wee bit late. Uh, somebody said it's the last in the series uh, coming up, or the last series or something like that. When are you taking the first caller? So there you go. Yes, it's 10 to 11 here. Paul Sefton shared us all, my friend. Hello, ha -ha, from Fraserborough. Jessica Cherno is in the broch. Jessica, dinky do to Abdi in the broch. And to yourself, of course. Lovely. Oh, the harbour will be looking bra the next day. So, so shared my friend. Excellent. Can everybody share? A quiz on capital cities of Europe would be great, Scotty. No rush, but it'd be great for a future show. So there well, I was hoping we'd get a Skype call tonight. I'm just going to get the, um, the stuff up here. And uh, then we can get the sharing going. My wife thought I was off my head when I told her I could make a car out of spaghetti. Should have seen her face when I drove past her. Very good. David Drummond, who's the portrait picture of the man behind you, Scotty? That is me. That's Scotty McLean. You'll see Lord Reith the Labrador just sitting down beside me. Satin and Scotty, says James Jordan. Graham Ferguson, lovely to have you as well. Derek Jimmy Walker, Wendy says hello. Hello, Wendy Walker. How are you getting on? Take him off to Bobo's. So there you are. Keep him out of mischief, Wendy. Gary Johnson Smith's watching. Dinky do, Gary. Lovely to have you with us. You're watching Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet. And of course, there you are. And uh, excellent stuff. Now, let's get sharing, I see. You'd have laughed this afternoon, guys. I've got a laptop and a mouse here. And <laughs> hello from DJ Ray. DJ Ray Walker, did you do? <coughs> Dawid Chopnaki, Chopnaki, yes, Chonaki. Uh, hello from Poland. He's in Poland. Hiya, all the best. Mother's pride. I got a new job digging into the ground for water. It was well boring. Absolutely. I saw a, a video on shipbuilding in the old days and it was riveting. So there you are. Time to hang up the bonnet, Scotty. Graham Ferguson, I think what we'll do with you, you why don't you hang up your job as well? We'll uh, block you. There you are. Now, Graham Ferguson will never, ever, ever be heard of on the Scotty McClure show again. And his only crime, he told me it's time to hang up the bonnet. Sorry, Graham. Bye. So there we are. Uh, best son name's Walker. Yes, I've got Walkers in the family. A few runners as well. Uh, Ebony Babes Care, Dinky Doo, Pulse Hefton. Bring us live, Scotty. We're trying to get you live, Pauline. If you Skype me, then we'll get you live. So Scotty Dot McClue, and I'm just itching to take your calls. There we are, itching. Itching to take your calls. Yes, well done, Scotty, says David Clark. Absolutely. A cheeky, cheeky, cheeky old so-and-so. Time to hang up the bonnet. Time for him to hang up his bonnet. He can go and hang up his bonnet. I'll tell you, you're a star. Uh, red card, Fergie, yes. Red card. Now, wait a minute. It'll have to be... I think it'll maybe have to be a yellow card. Would that do just now? And um, we'll maybe give them the red card. Okay. So that's that, no problem at all, absolutely. Have to say goodnight up early in the morning, says Marjorie Ross. Marjorie, you get off to Bobo's Angel and sleep well, my dear. I say that's the whole world sends you love tonight. The whole of the universe that's watching live on Facebook. There could be anything up to 1.8 billion people wishing you a safe and peaceful good night. Uh, ah, Scotty, where are you from, says Jessica Cherno. I am from the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, the Scotland bit. 
Yes, the oldest and most distinguished bit. I'll never forget the day I read a book. It was inviting, so exciting. So excellent. How you doing, big fellas? Said David Robertson. Excellent, David. A first class pop up tonight. We're hoping to get a Skype call. Uh, Scotty dot McClue is my Skype address. And if you want to do that, we'll see if we can get you on big style. And I'll do some more exploring tomorrow and see what the possibilities are, guys. Right. Let's see if we can get a bit of sharing going here. If you're not Skyping me, we might as well put the other device to good use and get a bit of sharing doing. Let everybody know. Now, did you get the uh, notice that I'm on at 10 o'clock sharp? I need to know what you guys see and what you don't. Dinky do, Scott, he says, Derek. Uh, Marjorie Ross says, night, 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 Angel. Sleep well. Heard the accent, thought he's either British or a Scot, says Ebony, Ebony Babes Care. Ebony Babes, where are you from? You don't need any negativity towards this show, Scotty. The block feature is fantastic. Lee Fern, he's gone. Gone. We'll never ever hear of whatever his name was again. Just gone by. So there you go. Good night, Sal, says Kenny Og. Excellent stuff. A friend of mine said, he said, what you don't upset anybody on your show, he said, because you could lose viewers. And I showed him a list, right? And I'd got rid of two idiots that day. And there was 1,500 people waiting to come on, so there you go. Uh, good night, Sasa's Kenny. Good night, Kenny. Sleep well, dear boy. I think the issue with Skyping, you might be that most folk are watching on the phone these days and can't Skype at the same time. Well, this is what I was thinking about Messenger. It kind of pops up and the broadcast freezes round it. But we will get a solution and we'll get us all fully 100% interactive. But this is good. I like this. Great to hear your voice again, Scotty. I remember the days you were on the radio. What a great guy. And yourself, I say. Good night, says William Hannah. Good night, William. Thank you, Drew. What's your favourite tipple, Scotty, dear sir? I don't drink now, David. I was trying to work out the units, how many I'd had, how long ago was it, when would I be able to dry, all that stuff. And I thought, do you know what? Just forget it. So that's it. So I haven't had any booze for years. You'll always have plenty of law of yours, Scotty. You always get the odd idiots. Lee Fern, you do. But you get the wonderful, wonderful people as well. You have to sort out the wheat from the chaff. That's it. And we like a chaff anyway. The odd idiot, I should say. Yes, you do get the odd idiots. Uh, you can't beat... APC. So there we are. Oh, you can't be a police constable when you need one. Excellent stuff. So there you go. Eddie Dobby Sr. John P. Hizzleton has joined us. Dinky Doo. You're watching Scotty McClue. We are, of course, live on the big one. We're hoping to take some calls tonight. So if anybody fancies being a wee bit of a guinea pig, but uh, see if they could Skype us. Uh, and if not, we'll get something. When was your first ever radio broadcast? When I was nine, Ali Yogi. So that's a wee while ago now. I built my first radio station. Reese Gray says, you're funny, lad. You're funny yourself, lad. I'll tell you, Reese. Where are you from? Claire Floods watching Dinky Doo and John P. Hazleton. Uh, so I was nine years old and I built a little radio station and I could broadcast from the house and you could get it on the car radio in the garage, which I think was one of these superb old push-button radio mobiles in my father's car, and I could get it in the garage. So there you are, you could hear me talking to my father and grandfather. They were listening as McClue broadcast at the age of nine. Scotty, says Tor Linden, and he calls me a naughty word. Shall we ban him? Shall we ban Tor Linden, guys? Yes or no? Tell me quickly before he disappears. A lifetime ban, or will we let him away with it this time? Tor Linden, is he to be banned or do we keep him? Dylan McDonald, Andrew Dixon wants to let you know. Scotty McClure is live on the big one, dinky do. Excellent to have you with us. Facebook Live. Tor Linden, does he go? Yes, he goes. Right, there he is. Lovely. You'll never hear from Tor Linden again. All right, excellent stuff. So there we are. Uh, good night, it's evening. Yellow card, yellow card for Tor. There we are. Although he's away, he will not see this because he has been blocked. 
Uh, excellent stuff. Right, on you come, guys. Let's know what's what. What time are we at? Oh, my goodness me. I can't believe it. So there you are. If you've just joined us, did you do ban the nugget? Yes, he's gone. Absolutely. Now, guys, you get a share in who stays and who goes. And if there's enough votes for a ban, then it's bye-bye. It's woo -woo, good night, Vienna, right? And Scotty McClure is just doing the bidding of the people. Now, I call you the people because I can't call you the nation because you're not just one nation. You're all over the world. You're watching me in Canada and America and Australia and New Zealand, the Arctic, the Antarctic. So there we are, all these places. Wonderful. Oh, flipping eggs or somebody. What's going on here? Right, let me see what's happened. There we go. Oh, no, let him away with it, says Kelly Richardson. Kelly Richardson, why did you not step up to the plate earlier? Ban him, says Janice Kane. Excellent, Janice. Claire Flood is laughing. Joe Young's watching. Give him time to apologize. No, he didn't. He came on, he went, you're da, like that. So I thought, no, no. Your ma, and away he went. Keep, says David Drummond. He's gone, David. Too late, too late. Ban, says Reese Gray. Yep. Ban the nugget. Yes, yes. Lol. So there we are. Excellent stuff. So forget them, buddy. Yep. Evening, Scotty. There he is. There's Aaron Bell. We'll just ban Aaron as well. He's another one, block. Right, so Aaron Bell's gone because he was cheeking up as well. You'll never, ever hear of Aaron Bell again. Okay. Uh, good evening, Scotty. What have I missed, says David Lockett. David Lockett, you have missed the most incredible, superb broadcast. Fantastic stuff. Aha. Need to show them the yellow or red card. I'll speak to a referee friend of mine in the morning and see if he's got a spare set of cards. And uh, we'll just pop that up because some people need a visual, need a visual warning, you know. <coughs> Forget them, buddy, says William Hanna. Oh, flippin' heck. I don't have Skype and I can't download it on this old phone, says Lee. There any other app I could use. I used to have a Samsung S8, but I had it pinched when I got attacked two months ago. Lee Fern, what on earth were people doing attacking you? How dare they attack you? I want to apologize on behalf of the universe for anything you've been through. That is bad news. We need good things happening. Aaron, look at the state of you. He can't look at the state of himself. He's gone. He's away. Scotty Crew, here we go. This is Steph McAvaney. Aaron Back, band to precedent set. We are the nation of earthlings. Absolutely. We're also beautiful people from another galaxy watching as well. So it's not all earthlings. Bell, says Paul Seven. Yes, we may be ring a banning bell. I could bring that up. Thomas John McDougall, dinky do. Oi, oi, says Sharice. Good to see you again, man, says Davy Bonner. Davy Bonner, dinky do. Good to hear from you. Sharice Allison, hi, evening all. Oh, no, says John. Thomas John McDougall, John Wales. Hi, we were at your house last year, never noticed. Keep up the good work. Excellent stuff. That bell rings a name. What have I missed? Good evening, Scotty. How are you today? Hi, Scotty. Love your bonnet. Excellent. Scotty McClure, live with Sally St. Clair and Holly Oaks, says Harry Knowles. Uh, get a topic going, Scotty, like popular facts of Scotland. Right, I'll tell you what we do. <clears throat> we'll finish up with a quiz. All right, so here you go. Little quiz going on. Excellent stuff. And uh, I shall give you a question. Right. Scotland Yard was originally the name of a medieval house used by Scots kings visiting London. Is this true or is this false? Okay, let me do a bit of sharing while we're talking. Scotland Yard was originally a house used by Scottish kings when visiting London. Is this true or is it false? All right, so you've asked me to get a topic going. Here we go with the quiz. All right, very, very important. So that's what we've got here. And do let us know, guys. Very, very important. See if you get on with this. Scotland Yard was originally a house used by Scottish kings 
when visiting London. Excellent stuff. Sharice is on about Bebo. So there you are. <laughs> what are you talking about, Sharice? I've never heard so much nonsense in all my life. Excuse me. Time for a bit of personal care. A wipe doing with the clammy sherry. Oh. Oh, the heat. Right. That's it. Perfection. Do I not sparkle now, my darlings? So there we are. Get a topic going. All right. Is it true or is it false? <clears throat> what radio station are you on again? I used to listen. I've forgotten the names of Ronnie Blythe. Scott FM, Century 105 in Manchester, Hallam FM in uh, Sheffield, Magic. Uh, I'll send yourself cards, Scotty. PM me. Where they get sent? Paul Sefton, he's a referee. How fabulous is that? A spell check. I've shared her shot, Higgins. Good evening, Sharice. How are you? Hi, Eddie. Daniel, this is a fridge. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. I shared Sharice. It's false. Everybody's shouting. I don't like it when Scotty goes on one of his shopping trips and then has to cut the security label off his new bonnet. How dare you? So there we are. Maybe it's I, maybe it's no. Right? Scotland Yard was originally the name of a medieval house used by Scots kings when visiting London. True or false? Okay, <clears throat> I shall expect an answer now. <clears throat> Pardon me. What I'm going to do is put the clock on you all. Are you ready? Now, I don't have a clock, so I have to just make one up. Right. Okay, so there we are. Is it true or is it false? Come on, let's have a few responses from you. Tap, 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 tap. Did you like the clock? Let's have some hearts and some smileys if you like the clock. Tap, 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 tap on your screens. And let me know if you liked the clock. All right, Tony Bamford's watching. Dinky do, Tony. Lovely to have you with us. You're watching Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet, the world's top broadcaster. This is the big one. This is top television. All right. When did you ever see anything of this seriously high quality on the telly, not interrupted by any commercials. If you want to stick a fiver into Scotty McClue's GoFundMe, then do so. GoFundMe.com forward slash Scotty hyphen McClue or go on to the Scotty McClue website www.scotty hyphen McClue.com and click the PayPal 100% secure, stick in a fiver and it pays for advertising and little bits of equipment I'm saving up for. So there you are. Apart from that, you get Scotty McClue, free gratis, and for nothing, I take applause or derision on my merits. Pipe down, says somebody. Don't know who's talking to us there. Thomas John McDougall. True, true, true. False, says Alan McLennan. True, false, says Claire Flood. Soon be back. True, false. No, David, I was busy tidying up. Somebody talked to themselves. True. Uh, Robert Pilar, please. Yes, Scotland Yard. False, false, true, true. So there you are. It's true. Scotland Yard was a medieval house where the king used to keep when he was down in London. So if he'd taken himself a reduced cost flight or something like that, he got in and kept at Scotland Yard in the medieval times. Real radio, says Sharice. Yes, yes, that's the excellent stuff. A little bit of outage there. A little bit of silence brought to us courtesy of the Noise Abatement Society. Our thanks go out to them. Dinky do from Scotty McClue. Have you got the heating on in Fife? Heating's always on in Fife, isn't it? So there you go. True and untruth. Countdown. False. This is fantastic, guys. What a wonderful response. Wonderful. Get your money out, folks. Yeah, absolutely. Get your money out. And a fiver to Scotty McClue. I miss you on the radio. Still have the best of Scotty CD from the Century 105 days. That was a massive seller 
that CD and the Scotty McClure video, 13,000 we sold of that. Learn something new every day, says Claire Flood. You do, Claire. Another question, guys. Would you like another wee question? I know time's getting on. We'll just take a few more minutes and then Scotty McClure will have to disappear from you. And what a fabulous night has been. Thank you so much. John, make your mind up. Is it true or is it false? Excellent stuff. So that's that one. Now then, guys, what is Port Salut? S-A-L-U-T. What is Port Salut? Right? Is it somewhere ships go into? What is Port Salut? All right. Very, very important. What is Port Salut? Excellent stuff. Right? What is Port Salut? There you are. Will a fiver make me a lifelong member? Of course it will, David Drummond. Anything will make you a life a pound. Doesn't matter. We're just trying to get some advertising going on Facebook. And if everybody sticks a wee bit in, it gives me a lot more clout, if you see what I mean. Matthew Roberts. Uh, so what is Port Salut? Kelly Richardson. It sounds French, says Eddie Doby Sr. We. Oui, it does indeed. Kelly Richardson has come up with the right answer first. It's cheese. Excellent stuff. A harbour in Salou, says Charisse. Near Barcelona, says David Drummond. A place in Spain. Cheese. Cheese, says Dougie Mills and Ronnie Blythe. Excellent stuff. One more for you. What is the Aurora Borealis otherwise known as? What is the Aurora Borealis otherwise known as? And it's not Scotty McClure. It's not a type of fish, David Clark. So they are getting, says Kelly Richardson. Depending on the spelling, it's either a hotel or a cheese, says Paul Sefton. Paul Sefton, dinky do. So there we are. Uh, Sean Grierson. Yes, I do, Sean. Excellent stuff. Top man. So there we are. Robbie Crossan. The Northern Lights, Yvonne Cuttle, Grumbling Pants. So there we are. Salute, salute to you and you and you. There we are. No, it's not for the sound of music. Scotty, you're a dafty. So Greg MacArthur. Do we ban Greg or is dafty absolutely fine? You decide. Uh, steady, says Greg MacArthur. So there we are. Right, he's called me a dafty. Do we ban him or do we keep him? Do we give him a chance to apologise? 50-50, says Charisse. Northern Lights, a type of fish that doesn't live in water. David Clark, what are you talking about? Uh, so, Stephen, so smart, aren't it? So there we are. No, Daffy's, Daffy's fine, says Kevin. Okay, he's in the clear. You're off the, you're off the hook, my boy. Well done. Excellent. So, Mr. Greg is off the hook. Don't ban, so David Drummond. No, no. JP McCarran's watching. Thank you, do. Dafty's okay, says John. Isn't it? Yes. Yes, I think I can on occasion be a wee bit of a dafty, you know. So, that's fine. Uh, at least I'm honest about it. Hold my hand up. Right hand up to the big man. There we go. Excellent stuff. It's chest. It's fine, says Paul Seff, of course, in jest. Dafty can be a compliment for a fun guy. Oh, fungi, do you mean like mushrooms and things like that? Charisse, would you not blaspheme? I have a lot of people watching who are very religious. A starfish, says David Clark. It's like, you go, David. He's not hearing. He's out. Teapot lights, says Jim Bob. John Adams. The Aurora Borealis are, of course, the northern lights. Not jesting, I meant. I tried to Skype you, says Steph McAvaney. Try again, Steph. We've still got the Skype on, and you're very, very welcome. So there you are. There's no problem with it. The Skype is on, and it would be nice to take a call. I'm a self-confessed professional numpty. They are right. Somebody said to me once, yes, he didn't suffer fools gladly, you know. And I said, would you think he and I could negotiate? So they were. Scotty and a legend from Stephen. Robbie! Says she, she's talking to Robbie. Dinky do. You're all watching Scotty McClue. Do you like the late night pop up? Does that actually hold a bit of interest for you? A seahorse, Scotty. <laughs> 
nor the aurora borealis and the northern lights, the northern lights of old Aberdeen. So there you are, wonderful stuff. Uh, I get him in this. It should be a laugh, says John Adams. Right. So, do you think if we can get the calls going, would you be interested in a bit of late night pop up? Just maybe for, I don't know, half an hour, an hour, something like that. And we'll see what's what. We've also been doing the tea time pop ups. And of course, the big show is Sunday night at nine o'clock sharp. Well, yes, Scotty, if you told me you're coming on, well, I did, Sharice, you'll see a huge big purple post that says Scotty McClue going live at 10 o'clock. So there you are. The legend of legends, that's what you are, Scotty, says Paul Sefton. Stephen Lipton, dinky do. Do you like the banning tool as well? We need to, of course, like all these things, use it with wisdom, right? So there you are. So I think a bit of banter is absolutely fine. Yes, the best, says Davy Bonner. I remember the days you said the single mothers should have a tattoo in their heads. Yes, they should have M right there if they're married, right? So that we know, so that innocent young men get protected. If a woman's out on the lash, out on the grab, so there you are, out in the grab a lady, then I think a big M on her forehead to show. I also think a thief should have a big T on the forehead, so you know they're a thief. So there you are. Uh, excellent stuff. You are still about five minutes late, Robbie. Robbie, you're an awful fuss pot. You're always worrying and worrying and worrying. You carry on getting the high dusting done and stop worrying about a few minutes here and there. Mug, says Sharice. A mug. Yes, good. Well reminded, Sharice. I'd forgotten about my tea. It'll be getting cold now. Huh. This is what I call a mug. Danoon pottery. Very, very beautiful. Excellent stuff. Oh, that's excellent. Now, you'll all be wanting to get off to your beds. My first viewing, and I love it, Scotty, says Jim Bob. Excellent, Jim Bob. Dinky do. We'll build up a massive, massive show for you guys. Okay, come and subscribe to Scotty McClure. Follow me. If you can't get on as a friend on Facebook, follow Scotty McClure. Follow me on Twitter, at Scotty McClure. Get yourself on there. If there's any women out there on the grab, let me know. <laughs> Oofed, says Greg MacArthur. There'll be stacks of women on the grab out there, Robbie. You need to watch yourself. I remember the days when I used to take a refreshment and I said to somebody, I think I asked so-and-so to marry me last night. He says, ah, I wouldn't bother about that. He says, the only trouble, you need to watch yourself. One day one of them will say yes. So there you are. So excellent. Remember the grumbling pants, Scotty, says Yvonne Cuttle, I do. What about our Scotty in your forehead? What would that stand for, rich or robber? I don't know. So there we are, five yellow cards. If Sharice was on Skype, yes. One, two, three, four, five yellow cards for you, Sharice. How about having a panel show at some point, Scotty? Right, up your gony way, uh, says uh, Davy Clark. You take care, Davy. Davy and Kearney, and I got a shout out for Maria in St. Combs. Of course you can, Davy, no problem at all. Giuseppe Bacchetti, one of my favourite Italians, is watching. Si, senor. Lovely to have you with us. Scotty, not seen or heard you since Scott FM. Fantastic stuff. Excellent. Right, says John Adams. Get her off. Now, uh, would you like a wee tune? What tune would you like? Have we got a wee Scottish number for you? Let's see if we can get you a tune. That would be good, wouldn't it? Uh, what's that? Have I got that right? Right. I'll play you a wee tune. Excellent stuff. Here we go. Now, do you want the pipe organ? Or the piano, up to yourself. Okay.
Good luck. A shout out to the Morton. 2007 for Saturday's matches at the Battery Park. Mon the time, they all say. The magic roundabout. Yes, Zebedee said. Time for bed. Cheerio, Scotty. ta ra la ta ra darling. Night-night. You take care of yourself. And this is Scotty McClure saying to every single one of you, thank you so much for watching. Until we all meet again, take great care of yourselves. Remember, you are top, 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 top people. Scotty McClure saying dinky-doo to every single one of you. I'll sing you the goodbye song. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Of we are saying au revoir and a cheery oh. I'll play myself out. <laughs> Fantastic, there you are. Night, night, guys. Look after your dear selves. Scotty McClure saying dinky-doo to every one of you.